Hey everybody, I thought it might be beneficial to do an unboxing video of my latest purchase. This is the pet dryer from the company My Pet Command. And as with all my purchases, I like doing these unboxing videos just in case there's anybody out there who wants to see what does it look like when it comes in, uh, how does it work, and maybe I'll go through and, and go through the controls, go through the setup of it as well. So you get a pet brush, instruction manual, a hose, and then the pet dryer itself, uh, and then three, three heads. I actually expect to see these just laying in the box, but they're actually embedded in the styrofoam. So make sure you look for that when you open up your, your package. You get three different heads. They basically just have different ends on them. And then the dryer itself. Wow, this thing is heavy duty. It's definitely not light. So that's a quick unboxing. What I'll do is I'm going to put the hose on and maybe I'll start it up and we'll go through the different controls on it and I'll show you how it works. Okay, I hope you're gonna be able to see this okay. A couple of things I wanted to mention. Um, when you've got your hose, I'm just gonna show you real quick how to set it up. So you got two ends. One end is gonna be where you're gonna put your attachments on there. These attachments are a little bit hard to get on. Uh, it, you just have to kind of be firm with them, but. You've got an inner ring on the inside here that this is going to go around. So you just kind of push it on there. Got to get it straight. And once you get it straight, you just kind of be firm with it. And it goes on nice and tight. And then on the dryer itself, and again, I'm not sure you'll be able to see it. There's a little lip on the inside and there's some openings in between the lip. Those are going to match to these little notches on the hose. And all you're gonna do is get the notches lined up with the openings, and then you're gonna twist it on there. Again, it goes on nice and tight. So that's just a quick walkthrough of how to set up the hose. Really easy, you just gotta be kind of firm with it. Um, I'll go ahead and get it plugged in and maybe I'll show you how the controls work. Okay, so I've had some time to read through the directions and uh, play with the controls. I thought it might be beneficial to do a video to walk you through what the different controls are doing. The one thing I wanted to mention is I mentioned earlier that the hose and the nozzle goes in pretty tight. Uh, that's really great because when you turn this on, I don't feel any air leaks either where the hose connects to the dryer or where the nozzle connects to the hose. So uh, really great from that standpoint. The controls are pretty easy. First I'll mention you've got two LED lights. You've got a power LED and you've got a heat LED. When you turn the device on, no matter what setting you have it on, the power LED should light up for you. The heat LED will only light up whenever you're using heat, and that's gonna be this switch over here. So you've got a high heat, which is up, you've got a low heat, which is down, and then you've got no heat, which is in the middle. The other knob is gonna be your airspeed. So you've got a full airspeed, oops, which, Full airspeed is very high, I'll say that. Uh, full airspeed basically means it's on full blast. This control here in the middle, where you can adjust your airspeed, doesn't work when it's on full. So if you've got the device on full, it's gonna be full no matter what. However, if you decide to use the low airspeed, you can then use the wind control knob here in the middle to adjust the speed. And you'll notice as I'm turning it, it's getting stronger and stronger. Along with these knobs, you can also use heat. And you'll see now my, I don't know if you'll be able to see that, but my LED for heat is now lit up. And that's pretty much it. Really basic. 
An airspeed knob has to either be on full or it has to be on adjustable. If it's on adjustable, you can use the wind speed knob here in the middle to control the exact wind speed that you're wanting. And then you've got the option to use heat. That's it, pretty basic. I hope this video helps. Thanks for watching.